Hi, I am Zuzu. I'm taking a record of myself. <laughs> to let my friends and my, uh, or your donors know that first of all, of course, the things have arrived. And um, if you let us know what you do, maybe in a couple of sentences and what you would need most in support for the future. Okay. Um, firstly, thank you to everyone involved with donating the medication, the dressings, the laptop. The laptop's going to a university student who's studying, teaching, she's doing a four years teaching degree. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't have anything at the moment, so she's going to be over the moon. What, um, but thank you. And thank you for bringing it through. Uh, what Nkosi's Haven is, is a long-term residential care center for the destitute HIV AIDS infected mom her children and AIDS orphans. So the mother has to be infected for admission, but not all the children are infected. Um, we've got about 34 infected children, mm -hmm. uh, some through rape, some from birth. And we keep a mom here as long as she wants to be or needs to be. We work at building their capacity. So we employ a mother in positions like the chef or um, the, the, the bakery, the laundry, they earn a stipend and um, we take carry the expenses of sending her children to school. So we work very much at building the capacity of the mother, but our prime objective is to give our children the best education we can afford. So that is always a huge need because we take our kids through to the end of university or college if they have the academic capability. Mm -hmm. We've got some very bright children. We've got one child at the Oprah Winfrey Academy. Mm -hmm. um, we've got one boy studying in America. But we also have kids that are very special needs. So no matter what level that child is at, we will send them to a school and we will work as hard as possible for their future. So education, educational support is always mm -hmm. needed. Um, we have a farm which uh, is just down the road and we are working towards organic farming and we'll be starting broiler production shortly. So we are a community of women and children. Uh, we're not mm -hmm. sexist, we're not anti-male at all. But mm -hmm. um, in South Africa the, the uh, ratio of infection is for every one male there's three 3.5 women infected. Yep. So, and the woman is always left holding the baby, so she is our prime importance, and the children. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so <clears throat> one support that what we talked about was uh, finding mentors mm -hmm. for school tuitions, and maybe you could give us a sum, you know, what, what's okay, really needed. Our, yeah, our, our biggest expense is um, education. Mm -hmm. So at the moment I owe, mm -hmm to various schools about 900,000 Rand, which at the present exchange rate is what? Uh, 900,000 divided by 15.2. 40,000 euros almost. Yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, $50,000 you could say. Yeah. Yeah, US dollars. Yeah. So yeah. it's, um, but that's what we believe in. Mm -hmm. it's, it's because the only thing a child is going to inherit from us is their education. Absolutely. Their mothers are destitute. Um, and we need a strong exit plan for our children. Mm -hmm. So that's what we work very hard at. So, yeah, any support, be it medicinal, be it dressings, be it a laptop, but educationally I need all the support in the world. All right, and we will do our best. Thank you for, okay. for your Feel effort and, and, yeah, and for what you do. Thank you. Hey, hey. So, nochmal hallo aus Südafrika. Ich ich habe jetzt zwei Tage hier verbracht in Cozy's Haven, in dem Weisendorf, was phänomenal geleitet wird, was mir auch besonders gut gefällt, dass sie so einen Fokus auf Bildung legen. Da werde ich mir auch überlegen, wie wir hoffentlich zusammen das unterstützen können, weil egal welcher Herkunft in Südafrika muss für jedes Kind Schulgeld bezahlt werden, was ein Problem ist hier für für diese Einrichtung, aber sie betonen eben, dass sie 
einen Fokus legen auf Bildung, was ich finde sensationell. Jede Hilfe hier ist willkommen. Ich glaube, das war nicht das letzte Mal, dass ich hierher gekommen bin. Und äh, ja, war wirklich, war wirklich schön zu sehen, dass äh, wir mit so einer relativ kurzfristig angelegten Aktion so was Tolles schon auf die Beine stellen konnten. Also von mir, an alle, die mitgeholfen haben, an alle, die gespendet haben, vielen lieben Dank und bis zum nächsten Mal.